Hi guys, another video. I'm back here again. I am determined to do this beach. Although, the clouds are looking a bit dark and threatening. Again over there, a massive dark cloud looks like it could be thunder. But what the hell, I'm going to do it anyway. Well, down on the beach. Pretty terrible, to be honest. Bottle tops, bottle tops, ring pools, bottle tops. So I've came along this little bit of beach where people have been making sand castles. Dug this hole, and hallelujah, actually found ten pence. It's a modern ten pence, I don't care. It's not a ring pool. Awesome. Okay, I've moved away from that beach. Nothing but bottle tops, more bottle tops, and a 10 pence piece. That's all I found on the entire beach was a 10 pence piece. And I've moved along here, and look at that. There's a bus shelter on the beach. I'd be quite happy if it rains now. I'll just sit in that shelter until it passes. But this is the beach I was going to come to the other day when it absolutely poured down. And it looks like another junky beach, to be honest. There's a, a trolley on the beach there. But I'll give it a go, I'll get back to you if I find anything. Hi guys, I'm still on this beach. It's getting a bit dark. I thought the last beach was trashy. This one is just tin can after tin can. You can tell it's going to be rusty old thing as soon as you start digging. The sand starts going a different colour. Anyway, I'm going to do my first ever live dig. Just to show you how trashy this beach is, I'll guarantee it's a tin can. Just down here somewhere. Yeah, bear with me, this camera's not the best. Oh, a stone. One thing I've learnt straight away is I really need a pinpointer. I'm trying to find anything is, unless it's a tin, uh, a tin can, I think it's a tin can. That's a stone. Yeah, trying to find anything without a pinpoint now. It's absolutely unbelievable. Whatever it is, it's quite deep. Oh no, it's up here somewhere. Well, the ground's not rusty, the sand's not rusty, so it might not be a tin can. Well, would you believe it? A bit of metal. That's what this beach is like. Anyway, this is the metal detector I'm using. The Garrett S250. It's very sensitive, really sensitive. I can find a tiny scrap of metal really f deep down. <sighs> All I found is 10 pence. I don't think I'll come back to this part of Northumberland. People don't like to drop rings and coins, just tin cans, and bottle tops, and ring pulls. Never mind, let's keep going. Alright guys, I'm just about to pack up. This is my final dig. I was expecting a tin can, but that's something else. I don't know what it is. I did open it up and dig it up, and clean it up. I have no idea what it is. It's metal, a weird little box with a plastic thing on top. I did think it was a lighter to start with. 
No idea. Absolutely no idea. No mind. That'll do. I'm going to call it a day. It's starting to get dark now. Yeah. Well, I'll not be making any more videos for a couple of days. And duty calls. I also do the uh, army reserve and I have to go away for a couple of days. But as soon as I get back I will get back out somewhere in Northumberland and pick a different place and get digging again. I'm only doing the beach reality practice. Not really expecting to find much. A gold ring would be nice. But yeah. I'll start looking for permission on the fields and go to some ancient places. Holy Island, I think, is a place I might go to. I'm allowed to detect the foreshore. I've already got permission from the Crown Estates. Probably been done a million times, but hey, I'll give it a go. Anyway, that's it for a couple of days. I'll see you all when I get back. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.